Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you haven't it is so nice of you to pass by so for today's video this is going to be episode 13 of my home series and today I'm going to show you how I upgraded this old IKEA lamp into this beautiful more modern way prettier lamp so if you want to see that just keep on watching So for this upgrade, you're going to need paint, any color or type of paint that you want. For this particular one, I'm going to be using white paint for the lamp shade and then black paint for the lamp base. And then to put the fabric over it, I'm going to be using a glue gun and obviously some glue sticks and obviously some paint brushes. So here we go. The first thing that I did was take the lamp apart just so that everything would be easier to paint since it's separated and then I placed a garbage bag on the floor so that I wouldn't paint my floor like I have done before. <laughs> so I'm going to take the white paint and I'm just going to start painting the lamp shade as you can see right here. Now to be completely honest, this particular lamp shade is a paper shade. So even when I painted it completely white, now when I turn it on, I can still kind of see a yellow hue, but if you had like a fabric lampshade, like the normal ones, I think that this will work way better for you. So I went ahead and painted all four sides of the outside of the lampshade, and then once that was completely dry, I placed it on the side on the floor, on the trash bag, that's a lot of ons. So I just painted the inside of it, and the inside is completely smooth, it doesn't have the same ridges that the outside does, so it just looked way better. So that's kind of what I mean, like if you had a normal lampshade, it would just be better. If you have one with like ridges like this one or the same one, then you know it's kind of it's kind of hard but hopefully you don't have the same lamp as I do but if you do I think spray paints would work way better than what I'm doing right here but since I don't have like a balcony or a backyard I didn't really want to work with spray paints inside the house So the lamp base was the easiest part of this upgrade. I just pretty much painted the base, that's it. I mean, there was no science to it. It wasn't hard at all. I didn't even have to give it like a second coat or anything. This is just one coat. It was super opaque and it looks great. It looks so modern. It looks very, very cool. It actually looks like a brand new lamp, to be honest. It looks so good. So this paint has a chalky finish. So I don't know if it's like going to peel. It hasn't been that long since I painted it. So I haven't really noticed any peeling or nothing at all. So it's doing pretty well right now. But if you had like your doubts, maybe you have kids and you think they're gonna be touching it and all of that, then I would suggest maybe like a primer or a top coat. I didn't use any of that because I don't have kids <laughs> or pets. So I think I'll be okay. Now for the fabric part, I'm going to take an old t-shirt that I am never going to wear again and I'm going to make sure that it is as long and wide as I want it to be and then I'm going to take that t-shirt and make that lampshade wear it, literally wear it as you can see right here. I'm just putting that over the lampshade. I'm also going to make sure that the stitching on the sides of the shirt is on the edges of the lamp so the corners you'll see what I mean in a little bit and then I'm taking the bottom of the shirt and tucking it inside the lamp and then doing the same thing with the top and I will be cutting the extra fabric from the top so like the sleeves of the shirt and all of that Once all the fabric is perfectly lined up as much as I want it to be, I'm going to take the edges on the bottom of the shirt and I'm going to start gluing them inside with the hot glue gun. And you can of course get super creative with the fabric. You can buy any type of fabric that you want in any pattern, any color, any texture. I just of course wanted it to be simple white and using an old t-shirt was a really economic way and crafty to do this and once I'm done with all four sides I'm just going to put this upside down 
and start gluing any little edges that weren't perfectly glued down and then after that I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside up again <laughs> and just cut the fabric I'm just gonna let you watch this it makes more sense but basically I'm just cutting out the sleeves and just leaving a little edge of fabric on and then I'm just going to repeat the same thing that I did with the bottom and glue those little edges inside the lamp. This does not have to be perfect because really you won't see this. But if you wanted it to be perfect, then go ahead and measure it and mark the edges so that you cut straight lines. And once you're done gluing all the edges, your lamp is completely finished. And this is what the result looks like. I really, really like it. It's not perfect, but it is so much better than it was before. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And next week, I'm going to show you how I upgrade my little two footstools, Ottoman. I just don't have it finished right now, so that's why... I'm not inserting a little clip of it, but that will be next week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.